As you can see, we've prepped the entire side of the car with steam only. And we've got it really, really clean, either prepped for paint work or to release to the customer as a final job. Now, we want to, just because the car is dirty, we're back here in the trunk area. So we want to get the sills of the trunk clean. We're going to do the upper part of the deck lid, the sills down where it meets the bumper cover. There's always dirt in here, which again is another important area if you were painting quarter panel, deck lid itself, rear bumper. We want to be able to use the steam and blow that area out and do it with as little water as possible. As you can see, there's always personal belongings in somebody's car. Here, there just happens to be a lot of paper in the back, and if you don't want to or don't need to get the stuff out of the trunk area, then we want to work around it. But if we were using a garden hose or a pressure washer, this would be soaking wet. So we're going to be able to do this without moving the stuff, the personal stuff that's inside the trunk. So we're going to start by cleaning the sills, then lowering the deck lid, and then cleaning the back part of the deck lid itself. wiping it down. Wiping it down, getting it dry, making sure that no dirt could possibly be released by the spray gun out onto the body of the car. So first we do the sill area, then we'll lower the deck lid, and then we'll do the actual deck lid itself in the rear bumper. If our towel gets too wet, we get rid of it. If it gets too dirty, we get rid of it. Now, we've got a couple of drips on this paper right here, but for doing that much work, we didn't get anything wet. We've, protect, we've protected the customer belongings. Now, this is clean. We can release the deck lid, close it. We have a bunch of dirt in here, which is gonna be very easy to clean with our waterless wash product and the steam. We can close that. Now, I have my small brush on the wand here. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. And we'll go to the bigger brush, just to make life a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. And again, we request our injectable product in with the steam. We just blow that on. And now we can steam. And this is, this is where we're getting into emblems. Now obviously, if we, were, if we were painting this, the license plate would be off. We're leaving the lights and plate on. It's just basically a wash at this point. But cleaning emblems, around emblems, blowing the dirt all out of here, that's going to be real quick work with the brush and the steam itself. We've already injected our waterless wash product on here. So if we need a little agitation with the brush, there we got into our emblems. Now we blow out the seams where the tail light meets the body. Spray a little bit more injectable cleaner onto the surface. And now it's simply a white down. So we have the surface wet enough, we're constantly changing our microfiber towel over to a clean area, but we already have our injectable waterless wash product on the surface. We've released the dirt from the cracks and crevices. Change our towel over again.
and another area of our car has been cleaned with steam and cleaned very effectively. <laughs>